I, I want y'all to know a little bit something about the preparation for this show. It's, it's intense. And sometimes I don't put out as many videos because of the intensity of my preparation. So yesterday I was all ready to do this video, but I had my Taekwondo class over lunch and, um, Afterwards, there was this little piece of my hair that was sticking out straight and it looked ridiculous and I could not get it back in, back normal. And so it's like, forget it. We'll do the video when I look pretty. Because I mean look, I, I know I know y'all want to hear my thoughts on all sorts of important topics, but let's be honest with ourselves. There's only one reason you tune into my channel, and it's So I was actually planning on doing this video last week, and um, I was, well, I was planning, doing the planning last week. I, I didn't have any intention of recording it, but um, started thinking about it, and over the weekend, just kind of more examples poured in, but I, I was thinking about the way we're arguing today. Because I, what, what I'm seeing a lot of is the, uh, uh, people just kind of declaring things to be true. And letting us stand at that and kind of taking the attitude of, well, you know, this, I'm, this is settled. It's true. Get over it. And instead of engaging in, uh, in debate and ours is certainly not the first generation to do these things that, I mean, there, you know, there's a reason Aristotle got into logical fallacies and started defining them because people were making bad arguments even then. And, um, so he wrote these things to explain what a bad argument is and why they're bad and why you shouldn't use them. But bad arguments have been around for a very long time. People using fallacies have been, it's been around for a very, very long time. But it feels like that's really kind of gained more mainstream acceptance lately. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> it's... It's like I'm tuning into the news and, and and people are making that those statements. Like being interviewed on news and political shows. Like I mean th this isn't, you know, th this isn't the loudmouth in your college, you know, poli sci 101 classes. This is these are people who have a big enough platform that Fox and CNN and ABC like call on them to make commentary on the day's events and we're, we're making these sort of statements and so over the weekend I saw uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's new video I, I don't know exactly when it came out I know it was fairly recently but uh, I saw it over the weekend and it, and it kind of fell right into into what I was thinking about because on on this video um, he, he tackles some issues and basically just you know it, it's not a video defending his position on these things it's it's simply that these things are settled science and get over it and if I remember right the topics were evolution um, vaccines uh, flat earth and um, and what was it? Uh, uh, climate change. And he goes on to explain, I mean, besides, besides the, just the, uh, the, uh, argument from authority of, you know, I'm a scientist, you must believe me. Um, he did, he did make the statement that people who deny these things, um, are, uh, just don't understand, don't understand the, the, uh, uh, scientific method, which I openly laughed at because, uh, I mean, because some of the things that he listed on there are, are not matters of the scientific method, uh, you know, evolution for one, it's that, that is, that is in a category of, of historic science, which is not something we, we take the scientific method and 
and test evolution because the scientific method is recreating this this effect this property or whatever over and over again in a laboratory setting um, with controls and um, you know precise measurements and that way we can continue to test it and make sure that we are getting this result for the reason we think we are and we, we don't do that with historical events what we do is we get the evidence that we have and try to I, you know, try to recreate what, what you know what has happened. And that that's you know the the closer the time period, obviously, the easier that is to do. But we don't prove the existence of say Julius Caesar with the scientific method. It it's the wrong category, and so it's the same thing uh, with with the sto uh, with creation. Now we don't have um, you know we don't have a lot of firsthand accounts. Of that event, and so what? What the what the evolution evolutionary scientists will say is that well, based on what we know about science, and based on um, what uh, you know how we how we believe that these things go, this is a reasonable explanation. Um, and what the creation scientists say is the exact same thing. Um, but you know, according to uh, according to Tyson, this is settled science, you know, that, um, yeah, apparently those creation scientists, they're not real scientists and, um, and, and all that. And, um, it's, uh, you know, the same with climate change, you know, never mind that there is still massive dispute over not just what the data means, but what the data are. It's, I, I mean, we've been all over the place on this topic. So in the 70s, we're freaking out over global cooling. And then the data didn't reflect that hypothesis. And so in the 90s, we went to global warming. And then the data didn't reflect that one either. So now it's climate change, and now any change in climate proves climate change. And those opposed to it are called climate deniers, as though we don't believe in climate. And, and, it, and it's kind of a ridiculous label. And it's not that we don't believe in climate, and it's not that we don't even believe in climate change. It's just we question first whether humans are the cause of it. Second, how much change there actually is, and if humans are the cause of some of this, how much, and how much would would it change if, if all of these policies that people are suggesting go into place? Will it actually help? That's what we're questioning. And there are massive questions on this, but even though the, 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 the global cooling people, the global warming people, and the climate change people have yet to produce a model that's actually being proven accurate. You know, every time they produce a model, it's wildly off when we're, we're a couple of years down the road. But even though they've yet to produce a model, it's still settled science. And I, along with a lot of people, simply want one model to play out the way they say it will before we uproot our entire economy and and make massive changes that will forever affect you know the the lives of the people on this earth um for the record on the other two topics i'm not a flat earther at all um uh, vaccines, I'd be straight with you. I haven't studied it enough, uh, you know, to, to really have an opinion um, uh, one way or another. And so, you know, before I get on here talking about it too much, um, I, I would need to study it more. Um, and I simply haven't, whereas the other three topics I, I have. Um, but none of that is the point of this video. The point of the video is you don't... Just because, just because one of these people jump up and say something that you must believe because they say that, you don't have to believe them. 
You don't have to believe them. And in fact, you shouldn't necessarily believe them. You know, if if their if their opinion is studied and qualified, you know, uh, definitely take it into account. But just because someone has declared it so does not mean it is so. The other thing that kind of popped up this weekend was uh, Bill Nye's new show. And I, I couldn't help thinking about it because, because you know, me planning this video and with, with Tice's video, it's like, you know, this is the guy who, who has been lecturing us and now for, for a few years on what we must believe about abortion because it's science, which was a ridiculous video. What we must believe about evolution and now he comes out with this ridiculous video that um, that is destroying his credibility about yet another thing we're, we must believe because he says so, because he's the authority. And, and I'm sorry, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. When, when, I, can, when I can look at the data on uh, on climate change, and um, and sit there and, and say this is this is not convincing, and the models are not working out, and and Neil deGrasse Tyson comes up and says, "Well, you must believe it because I'm a scientist." No, it's not good enough. You know, in politics, um, when it comes to when it comes to you know abortion. When it comes to, you know, uh, the right to bear arms. When it comes to free speech. When it comes to um, freedom of religion, and 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 people just tell you that this is this is the way it is. Um, hold that up to scrutiny. I mean, hold hold that up to scrutiny. Um, when the government tells you that Assad gassed his people. You don't have to believe that. You can actually look at the evidence. There's a lot of evidence out there that, you know, I, you know, either supports the theory or does not support the theory. When, when we are told um, that we have to strike North Korea, when we are told that we have to provide um, health care, when we are told that we have to raise taxes, and that's just the way it is. I mean, ultimately, when it comes down to it, whenever the government tells you that something is settled, you really should be questioning that pretty hard. I, But my fear is, my fear is that when, when we, when a, when a kind of flashy video goes up and it's really well edited and it's from somebody, you know, whose name we know, um, and it, and it has this tone of authority that we are, um, we are inclined to just go, well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong on it. Maybe I, I don't understand the scientific method. Maybe all these things have been proven. Um, you know, uh, maybe maybe I haven't seen the intelligence when it comes to Syria. Maybe, you know, maybe I should just, you know, trust uh, uh, the people in Washington and, and and all of that. Maybe I should uh, the the, uh, the the groups, you know, the the college kids who are just putting up these articles and memes that, you know, uh, about white privilege and, um, you know, white, uh, white people are inherently racist. Well, they seem to have authority. Let's just, uh, you know, we should just accept these things. You don't have to. You don't have to. And I'll say this, that's about the least scientific thing you can do. Because the scientific method is built on us testing and retesting everything. Until we've tested it so many times that there can't be any doubt left. And 
and and the people who are who are saying no stop stop questioning these things we've already decided this that is anti science that that is that is anti free thought that is anti critical thought that's anti logic and we don't just because just because someone who's respected is telling you to do that doesn't mean you should and so um and so I, I, I just want this to be an encouragement to, to keep questioning, to keep questioning that if somebody tells you um, something to, to actually look into it, especially if they're asking you to uproot your religious beliefs or uproot the entire economy or uproot another country um, because of these things. Those are, those are some aspects where we, we need to be questioning very hard. So uh, I hope that's an encouragement to you. I hope you will you will take a look at um, these things a little bit more critically. I'm going to throw a couple of links uh, in the, in, in the uh, description. Um, they're not going to be very exhaustive by any means, but it might be a good place to start on some of the things that I've talked about. Um, some of the places that that I have been uh, have been reading and listening to um, to. Uh, to help inform my opinion about these topics. But thank you again. Talk to you later.